Joining us now is meteorologist Rich Thompson from the National Weather Service. We want to bring him up. Good morning, Rich. Nice to see you. Good morning. Thank you for being hey, with us. Doing? Yes. So, Rich, we we're talking about this hurricane. Is the earthquake in Ohio in any way linked to this tropical storm, or is this just some wild coincidence? Just a just a very wild coincidence. Uh, when I walked in the office yesterday, get briefed in for the swing shift, the, the office started shaking. It was like, all right, and this is quite going to be quite the day, but again, no correlation between one or the other. In our household, we're like, what is it, Armageddon? Like, what is happening <laughs> what, right what now? What is happening? Um, there appears to be other disturbances uh, popping up in the Atlantic. I think that's got a lot of people concerned. Florida's been relatively quiet for us to have a tropical storm and the East Coast to not get anything. Uh, I, I, there's been some storms that have popped up, but not really get anything that bad so far. How concerned do we need to be moving forward with some of these disturbances popping up? Here in Southern California, with those disturbances in the Atlantic, don't need to be concerned at all. It has been a slow start to the season, hurricane season in the Atlantic, but it seems to be picking up now. But for us here in Southern California, uh, I think what you saw yesterday, that is just a very rare occurrence. I don't think I have to worry about that really for the rest of the summer. That is good to hear. I think everybody wants it to be quiet. What do you foresee? Of course, the hurricane season runs until the end of November. Should we expect anything else here in our area? Well, there's always going to be potential for another couple hurricanes developed, uh, you know, to the south there, maybe, you know, give us some remnant moisture and things like that. But no, I don't think you're going to see anything where you're going to have a tropical storm come on shore across to Southern Lake California for the rest of the summer. So then we're just kind of looking for our typical summer conditions, you know, going to be periods of heat, you know, we'll start getting into the Santa Ana season here shortly. You know, and so just the usual sort of things you expect this time here in Southern California. I think most of us are hopeful that this will help with the wildfire season. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at it. We had a lot of rain yesterday in a lot of different areas. I've heard other people say, well, now I'm concerned because we are going to dry out again. We could get those Santa Ana winds and this could actually refuel some of the areas that had kind of dried out. W what do you think? Yeah, in the short term, this rain will definitely help us keep the uh, fire season at bay. Um, across all of Southern California. Uh, but due to this past winter, the amount of rainfall we had this past winter, there still is a very extensive grass crop. So once things start drying out here again from this uh, rain here uh, from tro Tropical Storm Hillary, then we'll start increasing the fire concern again as we get to the rest, the end of August, going September and October. So definitely fire season is still around the corner. People should be prepared because, you know, it's hard to really predict how bad a season is going to be in terms of fire. But the potential is there. We have a lot of grass and so forth. So it could be pretty interesting uh, September and October, depending on how the Santa Ana's shape up. I think it's a good point. I think a lot of people got prepared this weekend. Um, we need to stay prepared now. Definitely. <laughs> Between exactly. hurricanes, earthquakes, exactly. and wildfire season coming. Yeah, and I know a lot of people complain when not a lot of stuff happens in their area, but it's like be grateful and be yes, glad that you're prepared. Exactly. Rich Thompson, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it.